All right, thank you, Vicki. 754, and there is nothing better than looking in the mirror and seeing a healthy, clear complexion looking right back at you. But there's also nothing worse than noticing your skin is on the verge of a massive breakout. So what are some foods that are good for your body on the inside and the out? Registered dietitian and nutritionist Rachel Begun is here with us this morning to explain. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning. So we really can affect our skin just by what we eat? Yes, genetics does play a big part, but what we eat certainly has a has a big role as well. Okay, so what should we be eating? Let's start with that. Well, first and foremost, a diet rich in fruits and vegetables is really your best bet for great looking skin. It's loaded with water, fiber, and antioxidants, which helps to prevent damage to the skin so you don't prematurely age. Are some fruits and vegetables better than others? Well, all fruits and vegetables are good, but I've highlighted here some that are particularly high in water while also containing a lot of antioxidants. So you want to get things like berries, melons, citrus, definitely your leafy greens, tomatoes, and peppers. Okay, and then I see you have two other categories of the do eats here. So what do we have here? Here we're talking about omega-3s. And omega-3s, there's actually research to show that it may help prevent against uh, sun damage, which is a great thing. So you really want to be getting things like your fatty fishes, like salmon and tuna, but then also plant-based sources. So things like walnuts, chia seeds. Okay, and then over here, the almonds, the sunflowers, the almond butter, what does that do? That These are all foods that contain vitamin E, which is a fat-soluble vitamin, but also contains those antioxidants that we talked about, which prevents the anti, which causes the anti-aging. So we really want to be talking about nut butter, and nuts, so almond butter and almonds in particular, sunflower seeds, particularly for people who might be allergic to nuts, and avocados are also a great source of vitamin E. Okay, well, I am sad to see what is on your do not eat list. Over here, we have coffee, wine, and beer. So why are those on the do not eat list? Well, those contain caffeine and alcohol, which are very dehydrating. So they're not necessarily things you have to avoid completely, but we should be drinking them in moderation. And when we do drink them, it's a good idea to also get that extra water to kind of counteract the dehydrating effects. Okay, and I know that some people worry that fatty foods or greasy foods may affect their skin. Is there anything to that? Well, I think, you know, when you eat fatty foods that may be containing lots of low nutrient foods and um, maybe high in sugar as well. That's not gonna be great for the skin, but a little bit here and there isn't gonna, isn't gonna cause too much damage. Okay, a little bit of moderation. Thank you, Rachel. Good advice. You can check out our website for more information. Back to you, Tom. Still ahead on Daybreak, we're gonna see Peyton Manning in a bit of a different light, thanks to one of his team.